we're being asked to solve this equation. So let's go ahead and do it. Now there is a square root here and we're looking for x. So the first step is to square both sides of this equation. So x minus four squared is equal to the right hand squared. So three x minus eight, still in the square root being squared. On the left hand side, uh, it's being squared. So one way to do this is to write it twice. So x minus four, x minus four. And on the right hand side, when you square the square root, it goes away. So you just get three x minus eight. Now we can go ahead and FOIL. So x times x, it's the first, is x squared. Then O stands for outer or outside. That's going to be negative 4x. I stands for inner or inside. That's negative 4x. And then negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. And on the right-hand side, we still have 3x minus 8. Let's collect like terms. We have x squared, negative 4x, and another negative 4x is negative 8x. And we still have the plus 16, and this is equal to 3x minus 8. This is a quadratic equation, so let's go ahead and set it equal to 0. So we'll subtract 3x from both sides, and we'll add 8 to both sides. So these cancel, these cancel, we end up with x squared minus 11x plus 24 equals 0. This should factor. Let's see if we can do it. We need two numbers that multiply to positive 24 and add to negative 11. Looks like 3 and 8 will work, and they should both be negative. So we end up with x minus 3 equals 0, or x minus 8 equals 0. So x equals 3, or x equals 8. Now we should check our answers, so let's check. x equals 3. So to check 3, we have to go back to the original equation. So we're just going to put a 3 where all of the x's are. So this will be 3 minus 4 equals square root of 3 times 3 minus 8. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. And then here we get the square root of 9 minus 8, which is 1. So negative 1 is equal to 1. No, that's not true. So 3 does not work. Let's go ahead and check 8. So again, we're just going to replace all of these x's with 8's. So 8 minus 4 is equal to the square root of 3 times 8 minus 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. And over here we get 24 minus 8, which is 16. So 4 is equal to 4. Yes, it works. So the final answer is x equals 8. I hope this helps.